gives Paimon the creeps. Who knows what we're gonna find up ahead? The digging marks here appear amateur and rather old. I suspect it is a thieves' tunnel. A thieves' tunnel? Hmm. Paimon has heard rumors about treasure around these parts before. Maybe it was the treasure hoarders that dug this tunnel. Judging by the tools they left behind, it's certainly a possibility. But why did they abandon this place without even stopping to pack up their tools? Ah, I remember now. She took me here once and told me that she found a way to save me in this cave. But she... Uh, she said that the method would cause me to... Uh, 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 curses! Why can't I remember what she said? Uh, Easy, Jia Liang. Come on, let's keep going. Yeah. A bit of help is swap. By royal decree, don't blink. Good. With sword comes shadow. Scatter! Whoa, there's a sensor here. Those treasure hoarders sure made themselves at home. I believe this sensor was used to burn a monster repelling incense. A monster repelling incense? to that group of monsters just now. The incense was burned several days ago. If I had to guess, the monsters we fought just now were enticed here by some entity deeper inside the cave. No doubt an encounter with the very same entity was what prompted the treasure hoarders to flee and abandon their designs on this cave. After them, Jiang Li was the next person to discover this place and what lies inside. But to her, it presented an opportunity to save Jia Liang's life, albeit as a last resort. That's right. This sensor, it belongs to Jiang Li. Yes, this was the place. This is where I told Jiang Li to give me the poison. <coughs> Jia Liang! I'm fine. Let's keep going. I can feel it. She. She. she is right below us, waiting for me. Jiang <laughs> Li! Uh, Look out! Uh, there's a monster next to her! The god remains must have lured them here. Watch my back. Taking a turn for the better. Propagate! Germinate! Midnight Phantasmagoria! Animal test 63! Hey! Dr. Baiju! How serious is it? Is she... I can still feel a pulse, but her condition is quite grave. The god remains here are encroaching on her cognition, much as the poison in your system did to you. If we don't eliminate it soon, then even if we save her life, I fear that she may never wake up again. Then, uh, what are we waiting for? Let's destroy the remains right away! It's not as simple as that. Don't you remember what Baiju said? The poison within Jia Liang's body is inextricably linked to the god remains here. If the source is purged, the poison in his system will stop having any effect. Uh, and the poison within Jia Liang's body is keeping his heart condition under control. So, if it stops working... Oh no. Are you saying... Indeed. If the god remains here are purged then your life will come to an end. 
<sighs> I wondered when this day might come. Wait, wait, wait! But we've all been working our butts off to save Chia Liang's life! After all that, we can't just give up on him! Baiju, you're a great doctor! Surely you've got to know of some other way we can save him, right? You could continue to take the poison, which would buy you some time. As for Jiang Li, maybe if we put our heads together, we can think of something? It appears to me that she was striving to concoct your medicine for you, right up until the moment when she lost consciousness. Maybe it's her greatest wish that you will continue to take it and live. Dr. Baiju, give it to me straight. How long does Jiang Li have? The god remains have reached her internal organs. Under ordinary circumstances, I would give her less than three days. But if I were to treat her using a secret art... But, but what would be the point of that? Dr. Baiju, I'm all too aware of the dangers of god remains. You are not the first to mention it to me. If I continue to sustain my own life using this wretched substance, not only would Jiang Li have to keep risking her life to make my medicine for me, oh, but I would have to live with the looming threat of these remains breaking out and wreaking havoc not just upon me, but my entire family. I know for a fact that I should have died over a decade ago. The fact that I've been around to see how you grow up is already a great blessing from Rex Lapis. If my choice can bring Jiang Li back, then even if I, uh, uh, even if I die... Jia Liang? <laughs> After cheating death for so long, it seems I've grown somewhat addicted to life. <sighs> Traveler, Dr. Baiju, could I have another minute with my wife? I just want to have one final moment together. Just a moment. That... Of course. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry that I won't be able to repay your kindness in this life. Jia <laughs> Liang, Baiju, Changsheng, is there really nothing else you can do? I am sure that over the years, Jiang Li will have tried all the conventional methods known to humankind. As for less conventional methods, I have little expertise besides Changsheng's secret art. Mortals are fated to grow old and pass on when their natural lifespan runs out. If it were so easy to combat the natural processes of aging and death, Zheng Li would not have had to resort to unnatural methods. What a crazy situation! Jiang Li risked it all to save Jia Liang's life. And now, Jia Liang has to sacrifice himself to save Jiang Li. What's the point of it all? I've seen many final farewells in my time, but I can never get used to it. In the human realm, all things must come to an end. Is it not a fitting end to die for a worthy cause? At least, that's what generations of masters before you have always believed. The path they chose was indeed a heroic one. But when I think of those who would willingly sacrifice themselves for others, I cannot help but think that theirs are the lives least deserving of death. When all this began, we agreed that once Ayu was old enough to help you gather herbs, it would be time for me to go. <laughs> If you could only see him now. He took me all the way to Liyue Harbor to see the doctor. And he even got the Adventurer's Guild to search for you. <laughs> so I know that you'll both be okay without me. <clears throat> I've said my goodbyes. My time has come. Do what you must. As you wish. It will 
will eat away at both your cognition and your memories. In the end, you'll become little more than a shadow of your true self. I'll take it. At the very least, it will allow me to stay with you and watch how you grow up. Mom, something's really wrong with Dad. Don't fret, Ayu. I will gather some medicinal herbs right away. I promise you, nothing will happen to our family. <clears throat> Why would these memories come to mind now? <sighs> the longer we live, the tighter we cling to what we have. Would love to hear to hear your voice one last time. <sighs> <sighs> <sighs>